Hey, this is George from Cherry Creek Refrigeration. I want to talk to you guys about some of these propane bottles. You got the 290 with the bigger lid on it. You got the 290 with the smaller threads on it. And so now they're starting to become sort of universalized. But in the beginning, they were coming out with all sorts of different bottles and types. Um, so we have the scale here. And in order to use the scale correctly, um, you have to get these little adapters for the bigger bottles. They'll go on the bigger bottle. You'll screw it on. Screw it on the bigger bottle. Now once you get that screwed on correctly, you put it onto your scale. And now the bigger bottle fits the scale. So now it's on the scale. And so now you can use it. Um, the scales, you always zero them out before you use them. And then that way you know how many ounces you put into your machine. Um, so these bottles are really annoying. There's so many of them. They clang around. And so there's a, something you can do is you can buy the propane in these larger bottles and you get these fittings and these fittings right here will go right on to the bottle but don't drive around with this pump plugged in because once you push this little piece back here in the bottle it becomes to where now it can let loose the uh, refrigerant that's in there or the propane so when you get this adapter don't ride around with it in the bottle only put it on the bottle when you get to the job site and then once it's on the bottle you know you can flip it upside down for liquid and you can put it on your scale but that sometimes is not super accurate putting it on the scale um so what you can do is you can get these fittings right here to refill these bottles like this one with the bigger head on it. And it has the bigger head on it. See? I haven't really found a way to refill the littler bottles. But see, you can go right on there and then you can go right on to the then you can go right on to the propane and refill it, put it upside down. But you guys should watch some videos on how to do that. Um, I don't want to really make any suggestions on that. That's up to you to figure out, you know, how to fill the bottle. Um, what I do with it, though, is there's just little pins inside of here. You can take them out and then you can let them uh, air out the bottle you know for a while and then after that you can grab your vacuum pump but you have to make sure that there's nothing left in here because your vacuum pump uh will combust and you shouldn't use the vacuum pump only unless you know there's nothing left in there i like to purge them with nitrogen um and then what you can do also is you can put the bottle on the scale you know like so you know the ones without the adapters and then you can uh pull a vacuum on that bottle through your machine to your scale and then after that you can refill these too by using the machine or the scale the machine and by putting it on to the fitting and turning this one upside down 
as well. And then you can refill this bottle that way. But then you have to take it off, purge it, purge it. But you guys need to watch some videos on some of that stuff on how to do that. But when I buy the propane this way, this is two or 14 ounces, which isn't even really two pounds of Freon. Um, this bottle costs $35, $40. Um, and this bigger bottle costs two hundred and thirty dollars. So, um, you can see two hundred and thirty versus twenty pounds of two ninety by filling these bottles back up, you're gonna save yourself a lot of money and a lot of headache. So, hopefully, that gives you guys a good idea on what to do with this 290 because it's they never really decided you know a universal uh fittings but this fitting right here you can see screws right on to the scale and then you can use the older bottle and that's the way i roll it's that 14 ounce bottle these littler bottles they're just one unit and then there's propane stuck in the can container and you can never really finish them out um hopefully that's helpful thanks for watching like and subscribe i'll come up with more helpful hints about 290 and other things about refrigerant that maybe you guys can save a little bit of money thank you